I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose my mind and I think I like it, like it, like it. Oh, you got in here on me with a surprise. Hey, welcome. Oh, this is the best Sunday of the year, isn't it? I love this Sunday. Ooh, Christmas is great because Jesus was born. But this Sunday makes it all worth living because this is when he came back for us. Right? Okay, let's say our memory verse because it's great. Okay. I am with you always. Matthew 28, 20. Great one. Let's do it again. Oh, this is a good Sunday. Here we go. I am with you always. Matthew 28, 20. <sighs> do you feel the excitement like I do? Oh, the story we have today. It's happy. It's sad, and then he gets happy again. But it's very, very full of truth. And it's about our best friend forever. And who is that? Who wants to be your best friend forever? That's right, Jesus, the I am. Okay, now, in our story, I told you it's going to be very emotional. Do you know what emotions are? Emotions are expressions of how you feel. You came in on me feeling very happy because this is Sunday Easter. Okay? Okay, looky here. Jesus came to earth and everybody was happy, weren't they? Can you get happy? Yeah, happy. Let's say our memory verse while we're happy, okay? I am with you always. Matthew 28, 20. Right? Okay. And the people followed him and they loved him. Can you do, I love you, Jesus. Can you say that? I love you, Jesus. All right. Whew, this is a good Sunday. All right. Then Jesus died. That wasn't good, was it? The bad people put Jesus on a cross and he died. Can we say our memory verse sad? I am with you always. Matthew 28, 20. Do you feel how sad that is when you're sad? <sighs> Not a good feeling, is it? And the people were very sad. But what happened on Easter Sunday? Jesus came back for us. Yay! Can you stand up and holler? Yay, Jesus! He's back! The people were shocked. Can that really be Jesus? But it was, wasn't it? So let's do our memory verse and really get excited. I am with you always. Matthew 28, 20. Let's don't whisper it this time. Let's do it like we mean it. I am with you always. Matthew 28, 20. Yes. He is with us always. Oh, I love the Lord. Don't you? Okay, now keep that spirit high because it's going to be a sad story. But remember, the ending is the best. Okay, let's go to our clubhouse friends and watch the story and then come back and let's share the good news.
together with the nest? Yes! A bird goes with the nest! There's a real bird that lives in the nest outside, but I have a pretend bird for this nest. Tweet, tweet, tweet. I was watching the bird outside, and it kept coming back. Then it would go away. And come back. It would go away again. It would come back again. I think it was getting food for the babies in the nest. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Poppy. Who? Who? Flying your pretend bird, are you? Hey, Ollie. I was just showing our friends how the bird kept going away and coming back. Bird watching is wonderful. It's true. I know someone who went away and came back too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Hola! Happy Easter, friends! I'm Luis the Handyman. I am so glad you're here. I have been waiting for you. <laughs> I'm so excited about our Bible story today because it's all about why we celebrate Easter. 
want to help me build it? Ha ha ha, great. Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. <laughs> great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Now, let me just paint something. Do you know what shape this is? Ha <laughs> ha, a heart! Because the true story of Easter begins with God's love for us. Give yourself a big hug. <laughs> God loves us so much that he sent his son Jesus to be our friend forever. That's right. God sent his son Jesus to be our friend forever. But first, something sad had to happen. One night, when Jesus was having dinner with his friends, the disciples, he told them he would have to go away, but he said he would come back. After dinner, Jesus went to pray. While Jesus was praying, some angry people came and took Jesus away. They hurt Jesus and he died. It was very sad. Jesus' friends were so sad. Can you show me your sad face? After Jesus died, they put his body in a tomb with a big stone in front of it. Three sad days went by. Can you count them with me? One, two, three. And look, on the third day, when some of Jesus' friends went to the tomb, they saw that the stone had been rolled away and Jesus was not there. Jesus came back, just like he said he would. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive! That's the best news ever! Jesus is alive! <laughs> That's why we celebrate Easter! Because Jesus is alive! <laughs> and Jesus wants to be our friend forever! Hey there, Holly! Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever! Yes, it's true! Now let's hear it from you! Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That's the truth, friends. Happy Easter! <laughs> <laughs>28 20. I am with you always. Matthew 28 20. What did I tell you? 
That was a story above all stories, wasn't it? And where did that story come from? Book of Truth. That's right. And who wrote the story where we can read it? Our friend Matthew. Yes. Let's look at the board because it's a lot of verses from the Bible this time. This is Easter. And Matthew wrote the story of Easter in chapter 26, verses 21 through 30. And uh, chapter 27, verses 1 and 2. And chapter 28, and verses 1 through 7. That's where it is. Matthew. And Matthew was there. He saw it happen. So we know it's true, right? Yeah. Now, our story today, we had many emotions. Sad and happy. So let's go through some emotions again. The word emotion means you're showing your feelings. And if I say God loves you, what does that make you feel like? Yeah, me too. So give yourself a big hug. God loves us more than anything. God loves us. He made us. He's there for us. He's here for us. Okay? And God gave us Jesus. Hi, Jesus. Can you wave? Welcome, Jesus. Come in. Come into my heart, Jesus, and live there with me forever and ever so that I can go and live with you. All right? Jesus died. How do you feel now? Sad. Me too. And the soldiers rolled a stone. Can you do this? rode a stone in front of the tomb and closed it and sealed it so nobody could get to the body. They thought they were keeping Jesus away from us, but he surprised them and he surprised us too, didn't he? But Jesus' friends were confused. Can you show confusion? I don't know what's going on. He came. He loved us. He said he would be with us always, and now he's gone. Confused. But then what happened? He came back, and he's alive, and he showed himself to them, and they were happy, and they couldn't believe it, and they had to run out and tell everybody, and that's what we're supposed to do. Can you be happy now? Let's stand up and yell, Jesus is alive! Yes! Wave those palm branches. Yes! Jesus is alive and lives forever. And we can too because we love him. And he is our best friend forever. And when it's our time, we will go to live with Jesus. Yes! Isn't that exciting? Oh, it's breathtaking, isn't it? Okay, I wanted to show you something. I wear this ring all the time. And it says, Jesus is Lord. It could also say, Lord Jesus is. Can you read that? It says, Jesus is Lord. And I wear that so that people will see it and make comments about my ring, and I can tell them about Jesus. There's something else I wear, my bracelet. Can you see that? I didn't know whether you would be able to see it or not, so I printed it up bigger. Can you see this? Okay, and what does it mean? Let me explain. Jesus came to earth as a baby, didn't he? That's our Christmas story. Exciting. He died on the cross. That was sad. He went to the tomb. They rolled the stone in front of it so he couldn't get out. 
He was dead. He couldn't get out, could he? They didn't want us to get in. He went to heaven to be with his father. <sighs> Sad. He was here and we had joy and we had hope. And now he was gone. He came back. And he is with us now and always. And one day, we'll go up to heaven to be with him forever and ever and ever. And that is the word eternity. Forever and ever. And that is Easter. That's why I'm so excited about Easter. And that's why you should be excited. Some people wear crosses to show people that they believe in God. I wear my ring and my bracelet. And you know, it's caused a lot of conversation among people when I'm shopping or when I'm out in the world and they wanna know about it. And it gives me a reason to tell them that Jesus is alive and well. And I'm alive and well because of Jesus. And I know where I'm going when my time comes. Yeah, exciting, isn't it? Love that story. Let's do our Bible verse one more time. And let's be excited this time. Okay? Here we go. I am with you always. Matthew 28, 20. Yes. You can tell people today when you meet them. This is Easter Sunday and Jesus is alive, right? Happy Easter, everyone. Okay, now let's, you know what time it is. Let's all gather around the TV, the computer, wherever you're watching and visiting with me. And let's do our prayer to say thank you to Jesus for everything he does for us. Ready? Fold your hands. Oh, sit down. Miss Linda, get it right. Sit down. Fold your hands. Bow your head. Close your eyes. Dear God, thank you that Jesus came back just like he said he would and that he's alive today. Please help us to tell everyone that Jesus is alive and wants to be their friend forever, too. We love you, God. Thank you for Easter. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See you next week.